guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back today with my yearly iMats haul and it is iMats haul 2019. So I got a bunch of stuff this time I feel like from a lot of different brands that I usually don't purchase from and then a few that are like staples that I have to go every single year that I go to iMats. So let's get into it. Don't mind my face. I've been walking around all day. So let's start with Elsie. I went to their booth and I love Elsie and I love Lilith. She just makes beautiful products. So I wanted to pick up some items that I've heard a lot of people talk about and especially her, she talk about. I'm like out of breath. <laughs> um, so I wanted to pick up some stuff. I picked up her Complete Remedies Silk Concealer and this is in the shade Light Medium and I don't have the prices to some of them just because um, they're like emailed receipts and I don't have like a physical receipt with me. So I got this in light medium and I'm excited to use this. So I hope it's good. I know it's like full coverage, I believe. And I wish I would have gotten her loose translucent powder, but it's all right. Okay, the next thing I got was one of her newer highlighters, I believe. I got it in Seoul. This is called the Eclipse Highlighter. It wasn't there, unfortunately. I don't think she was there when I went to her booth. I wish I would have met her though. Okay, this is really hard to open. Got it. Oh, I got her Eclipse highlighter. It's so gorgeous. Look at this really pretty packaging. Nick, this highlighter, I'm gonna be a little all upset. So glad that it's now like kind of sunny because it was like raining this morning. And I'm glad because now I have good lighting to film my video. Oh my God. I got it. So it comes with a mirror, but it has like um, a sticker on it. And this is her Soul Highlighter. Look how beautiful this packaging is. That is just gorgeous. I'm excited. It's swatched beautifully as well. All right, then I got the infamous Elsie the Velvet Sponge. I've heard lots and lots and lots of great things about this, so I'm excited to try it. I know it when it gets wet, it's like humongous. So I'm really excited to try this. I, yeah. I'm just so excited because I know it's been out of stock for a while now so I'm excited I got it I was able to get it at IMATS because that was something that was really on top of my list and then the last thing I got was the LC Hydra enhancer that and anacline facial mist infused the jasmine it's like a huge thing and I love facial mist so let's see I don't want to try it now I can't really smell anything, but that mist is really fine. It's like very light, but it still like gets all over your face. I'm excited to try this. Real excited actually. That's all I got at Elsie. And then I went to Jouer. I love Jouer. I love their highlighters and I picked up quite a bit of their lip liners because I purchased their lip liners last year. If you guys remember what I got last year, if not, go check that haul out. Um, and I fell in love with them. They were such an amazing formula and they, I just love lip liners. Like you will see in this haul that I purchased a lot of lip liners and I will never need to buy any more new lip liners for the rest of my life. But the lip liners were actually very affordable in, like in every booth I went to. So I kind of went a little ham. So I believe if you bought like four, you got, so I got 10 in total. I believe if you got like five, you get another, you got one free. So I got, originally I had gotten eight, I think, wait, no. So I think if you buy four, you get one free. So I had gotten eight and then they told me that if I chose two more, then I get like two free, whatever. So I got doubles of a lot of these and I don't know if I'll do swatches, maybe we'll see. So I got three Sienna lip liners and I just, these are so amazing. Like. And these were a $5.35, I believe, for the lip liners, but they're just, they're great. So let's see, they're the Longwear Creme Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Sienna. It's just like a really pretty brown nude color. And I got one last year and I finished it, so I'm really excited that I picked it up. Like, these are one of my favorite lip liners, and Jouer just makes fabulous products two nude lip liners and these are um this one is more of like a peachy one i believe if i remember correctly actually no this is like another yeah it's like a peachy ish nude color i'll show you this it's a really beautiful nude lip liner as well 
and I just love lip liners like I feel like everybody needs to invest in lip liners and then I got three of the fawn lip liners originally got two of each shade but then sh they told me that I can get two free so I got additional fawn and sable right oh sienna and this one here is fawn this is another like they look the same in the video but I, I promise you they're not it looks like this I just don't want to swatch them because I want them to be new and then I got two sable lip liners and this is like a pinky brown color I'll swatch this one just because this is my first time purchasing sable this is like a pinky brown I love those. I'm just so excited and I'm, I'm honestly, you guys are going to see this haul and you're going to be like, Helen, did you really need to buy all these lip liners? I did. I did need to. And then I picked up two more items. I picked up the Jouer Essential High Coverage Foundation. Sorry, I had to burp. High Coverage Creme Foundation. I got it in the color Fawn. It's a little deeper than my skin tone, I believe, at least my hand. I just didn't want to like have them swatch me because I just felt like that was like a... It's a lot of work. And I already have like a full face of makeup on. So I got the Jouer Full Coverage Cons <laughs> Foundation. I've actually been wanting to try this for a while. And I got a shade one time before. And it was too light. So I returned it. Um, So I got that. And I'm really excited because I love full coverage as you guys know. I got their concealer because I've heard amazing, amazing things about their concealer. I got it in two sh different shades. I got the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. I got it in Wheat and Creme Brulee. And I kind of heard that this is very comparable to Shape Tape, except it is more liquidy in texture and formula and not as heavy. Like, I love Shape Tape. It's a really good concealer, but it definitely is a thicker consistency and it is thicker in formula and it can feel heavy if you are more dry or if you don't, um, if you aren't used to wearing like a lot of face makeup so this one is wheat and the jouet packaging is just phenomenal. and then i got creme brulee so one is more like a yellow undertone but i will definitely feature a lot of these new products in my videos and i'm so excited to film new videos now because of all the new items i got i didn't really get like a lot of like eyeshadow i don't believe no, I picked up a lot of like accessories, kind of. Not really accessories, like tools. So that was UA and they have a really cute bag. And then next I went to Nigel Beauty and I got two things. I picked up my Holy Grail powder. This is my Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. It's amazing, one of my favorites. I'm actually wearing it right now and it's like, you all need to try it is basically what I'm trying to tell you. It's expensive, yes, but one of my favorite favorite powders like oh, how beautiful is this matching like hourglass please give me a lifetime supply of the veil powder because it's amazing truly and then i picked up another one of the emreezy highlighters from anastasia i know it came out recently at sephora but then it was on the website for a while and then it disappeared because i'm assuming it sold out but one of the most beautiful and stunning highlighters i've ever seen it's so smooth so beautiful like I'm filming on my phone right now because I didn't bring my camera um, but I film on my phone every year so it's like a tradition now and let me show you what I got at LA girl so you're gonna be shook because I got a lot of lip liner the girl was like you really purchased all the nude lip liners so <laughs> I'm like, kind of embarrassed showing you guys I got two like non or three oh three no so these are all of the lip liners that I purchased from LA girl I'm looking at this now and I can see how excessive it looks but I've heard amazing things about their lip liners and their pencil ones that everyone talks about were two dollars at the show so this is a good deal I don't know how much it is regularly but it's still affordable one of the more affordable companies but two dollars like give them all to me so let me show you the ones that are non lip liner first I've heard their eyeliners are amazing as well so I picked up one of their shockwave neon eyeliners and I picked it up in black because I love me some black eyeliner and then I picked up two of the LA girl ultimate intense stay stay auto liner and this is in the color lasting brown so it looks like this i love brown liner if i want something like dramatic but not too overpowering or make or closes down my eyes i will use brown i'm wearing like the charlotte tilbury um 
Garnet right now, and that's one of my favorite eyeliners. So let me show you the new lip liners I bought. I know it's excessive, but I love lip liners. Like, I just love lip liners. Who doesn't? I got, it, it looks like I got a lot, and I did get a lot, but I got multiples of the same shade. So I got Cafe, which is one of the very most, very, like, English. Cafe is one of their popular shades that they purchase, that people buy, so. Like, I'm really into the nude browns. Like, this is Cafe right here. I know they may look similar. They're gonna look very similar. <laughs> you guys are gonna think I'm crazy. I bought a lot of lip liners in the nude family because all I wear are nudes, so I have to stock up. So I got Cafe, and I got a couple of those, actually, because I heard those were thebomb.com. I think I got three of Cafe. I got two more right here. I think that's it. Oh, another Cafe. Don't judge me, you guys. I just don't mind Alex. He's in the bathroom. Okay, and then I got Bare, which is like a lighter nude brown. That's bare right here. See, they're different in colors. This is way lighter. So I got bare, and let's see how many of bears did I get. I think I only have three. These are their wooden lip liners, by the way. I got two bare lip liners, and then I believe I got two flesh, which I believe is the lightest of all the lip liners I got. And this is more of like a peachy nude right here. So I got two of flesh, and then I got three of sugar and spice, because this is more of a deeper nude. And I've heard a lot of good things about this too. This is like a deeper nude, but it's like also, it's like brown pink mixed together. And then, oh, I got another cafe lip liner. That's like four. I got four lip liners. From, I got four cafe lip liners. Okay. And then I got these ones, which are very similar to the brown lip liners I showed you. I got, let's see. I got the Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner, three of them in non-stop nude, which the lady told me was their most popular ones in this formula. So there it is, I got three of those. I'm not swatching them because they have like a little clear plastic. And then I got two of the Keep It Spicy, which is a deeper nude. So those are all the lip liners I got from LA Girl. Primarily why I wanted to go to LA Girl because their liners and lip liners are so affordable. They're amazing, so I got a whole bunch. Probably could have cleared out their whole inventory. And every year I go to Lady Moss and I buy a bunch of lashes, as you guys may know. Every single year I buy like 50 billion of them. So I'll just show you what I went through because I did get some for my friends as well. So I got some goddesses. These are how they look like. I'm actually wearing them right now. They're my favorite ones. And I got some queen bees. These are Katie's favorites, Lester Lux. And let's see if I can find any other ones. I know I got some other styles, but they may be hiding. And I got Stella's for my friend. She loves Stella's. And then I got Venus. I think I got two of these. Venus. And then I also got Baby G. Then I also got Amore. My friend loves Stella and Amore. And I believe those are the only styles. Like, I feel like there are a couple more. Oh, I also got Sin City. These are really pretty as well. They're like fuller, more flirty looking. Trust me. Oh, and I got Coco, which is from a friend. And I believe that's it. Like I always, oh, I also got Marilyn. And then some more baby G's. These are like, Mm, I kind of want to compare them to the goddesses, but less dramatic and less like bam in your face, but I gotta love my lashes. I can never run out of them. And then I went to the Makeup Shack. This is actually my first time purchasing from Makeup Shack, so I was really excited. I got two of these um, brush holders. I got them last time in my I'm at Tall at Nini's. But Makeup Shack was selling them for $11.90, so I picked two up. I'll use them for, but it was just a really good deal. They're like the same um, material as the Makeup Forever one. This was probably like 10 times cheaper. Maybe I'll use one for my eyes, one for my face. Um, and then when I do like gigs and stuff, I can put those in too. That's cool. Also, when it's mentioned, I met one of you guys actually at IMATS. Um, her name was Karen, so it was really nice meeting you. Send me the picture. 
yeah, thank you so much for coming up to me. It was really nice meeting one of you guys. Sorry if I was awkward. I'm just a very awkward person. So. But it was really nice meeting you. Got, actually, this was free. This was the Makeup Shack, their latex free makeup sponge. It's a baby blender, I guess. And then I picked up some brushes, obviously. Oh, I even got a pop socket. Oh my god, that's so cute. This one says, wisp it like it's hot. These were free. I don't even I don't even know. They just threw it in there. And then I got blend blend baby. Cute. So I picked up some brushes because I know ooh, people love their brushes. So I got these ones, which is the T66, which is like a very like a detailed brush. I thought it'd be good for like blending under the under the eyes for detail or highlighting the inner corners. I got like doubles of a lot of brushes. And then I got some new eyebrow brushes. I'm really, I love my MAC 266, so I thought I'd, you know, branch out. This is the T3, and it also comes with the spoolie, so it looks like this. Three of these, because I think they are like Jenny 69's favorite. These are the T50s, and they are just like a pointed blending brush. It's like, I don't know. I thought it'd be really good for like really good detail work, because it's pointed. I mean, when it's more fluffy, you can tell, but it looks really nice on display. I got two of these because um, if you watch my tutorials, I like using the Morphe M23, I think, that little dual fiber brush that I like to blend to merge my eyeshadow and my concealer together. I couldn't find it when I was in the Morphe um, booth, so I decided to get these ones. This is the T87, and I thought it'd be really nice to, there's a lot of powder, to just blend like inner corners, um, so yeah. And then I got two of the Makeup Shack T42, and I thought it, there's like a lot of dust going on in these brushes. Make sure to always wash your brushes before you use them. So I thought it'd be good to either set my under eyes, blend out any dust um, baking powder, loose powder, or literally blend my concealer out. That's those. I'm really excited because I've heard amazing things about their brushes. And I went to Morphe, and they, this year they were giving out really cute canvas totes when you like I believe when you make a certain amount, like you purchase a certain amount. Um, but before that, I actually went to Face Story and I used to have their subscription actually, but I kind of stopped it because I had way too many. So I got, um, it says Happy Masking, so cute. And there's a free sheet mask in there. So I'm gonna open it. This is like so adorable actually. Oh wow, that's, so, oh, it's a little heart and it's from Kartika, Karatika, the cosmetics, and this is the DNA couple mask. Oh, that's funny. Alex, and you can do this too. Yeah. It's a couple mask. Oh, no. oh, it's not, it's the free one they gave me. Look. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, wait, is it or is it both for one person? Oh, just kidding. It's for one person only. So, that's cute. And then. They have these very fun stickers. That's really adorable. So if you guys, oh, my leg fell asleep. If you guys are into sheet masking or yeah, sheet masking. I should would definitely recommend trying them out. They're really amazing and they, it's like they're curated boxes each month and it's really cute and it's really thought out and they just have amazing sheet masks. Let's get on to Morphe. All right, so I got a pair of lashes because I heard good things about their lashes too. This is the Morphe Premium Lashes and it's in the color Chummy. I mean, not color, the style Chummy. And these are kind of like more straight but still very flirty and like wispy. So I like those. I thought I'd just try one first um, to see how I like them. And then they're actually launching their Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation and it has 60 shades and they're actually um, had like testers, not testers, but they had these little pamphlets out and they were giving it out to customers who were buying stuff so they could try them, try them out. And they launch on the 17th of January. So they were just letting customers try the, like see which shade is good for them. So she gave me the medium pamphlet, I think. Yeah, level two, medium. And then I got a bunch of lip liners of course and these are also just two dollars each so i kind of went a little crazy the rest are like brushes so i got nudes of course these are the lip liners i got they're all brownie nudes i will show you which ones i got but i won't swatch them so i got two love bite lip liners they look like this that's the color of them and then i got four sweet tea because i believe 
Jenny 69. These are her favorite lip liners, so, and they're $2, so, yeah. I will show you how long, like, how long the lip liners are. So, this is long. How much they are regularly, unfortunately, um, because I waited for IMATS to purchase them. I got two Makeup Talk, which is like kind of like a cool toned lip liner. And then I also got their scissors. These are the stainless steel straight scissors. I am doing my friend's makeup for her wedding and I do have a pair of like mini scissors, but they're not sharp enough. So I thought I'd get a new pair. I'll leave that in my kit. I got a whole bunch of brushes. I don't know if I got as much as I got last year, but still a whole bunch. I get doubles of a lot. I got this brush right here, which you guys know I use in all my tutorials. This is the Morphe E41, just a big powder brush where when you're done with your makeup, you just blend it and everything. I thought it'd be good to just have another one of those. I got the Ingold contour brush, which I love. This is from their E Elite collection. This is the E4. I love contouring with this. And then I got two of the Morphe R13, and these are the pointed contour brush, and I thought just anything you can never have too much brushes even though I definitely do and then I got two of the M500 deluxe pointed blender brush I thought these were oh my god their packaging is their plastic is so weird I can't even take it out but this is basically like very long and fluffy there's not a lot it's like not that dense they're all very loose and I thought I could like lightly dust highlighter or maybe if I want just a light dusting of blush very pigmented color and then I got an R37, which is their blending brush. You can never have too many blending brushes. I got an R40, which is the Deluxe Pointed Blender Brush. They all have like weird packaging for some reason. Another R40, and I think I got another one. So three R40s. I also got this, which is their R36 Pointed Highlight Brush. And then I got two of the M43 Firm Pro Firm Fl Blending Fluff Brush. So it's kind of like a 217. Two of these, oh I forgot I even got these. <laughs> I think I have one in my collection already. These are the E22 Pointed Blender Brush, which is like kind the Elite Collection. Good for blending like out concealer or if you wanna like, it's really sharp out here and you don't like it too pointy or sharp, you can just use that to blend it out. And then I got another face brush. These are the M554 Under Eye Setting Brush. Yeah, I love using brushes to dust off my under eye powder when it's done or like, yeah, basically that. I got two of these um, detail crease brush, but I like using them to either highlight the inner corner, nose highlight, or lower lash line work. And I got two of these oval shadow brushes. I thought they were very similar to the MAC 252, I believe. Um, just like a big flat brush, eyeshadow brush. Two smudge brushes, and exactly that's what I got them for. These are for smudging, lower lash line. I got, this is the M508, and I love using, this is perfect for when I'm like blending out um, eyeliner on my lower lash line. Like my Charlotte Tilbury is very creamy, so I like to use a brush to kind of smudge it out and make it more of a smoky effect. E11, which is just like a pointed brow brush. I thought it'd be cool. I'm just trying to find like new brushes to use for my brows because I don't want to just rely on my MAC 226 because sometimes that's the only one that I use and I only have one. I mean, I do have another one which is very old and it doesn't perform as well as it used to. So that's my favorite eyebrow brush and I feel like I need to find a new eyebrow brush. But it's like, well, don't. Yeah, but I just want to find a new one just in case, you know, like if I lose my MAC 226 one day and I need a brush, I have one on hand. Seen, I'm testing the waters. A lot of brushes. Two more places left. So I'm gonna go with NYX first. I love the canvas bags. So I only got two things. I really wanted to get the NYX lip liners, the like, all day stay all day stay what it's like the really long the lip liner with the really long name that's kind of more expensive on their end but they don't have it there so i didn't get it although i did get two foundations um they're the same foundation just two different colors this is the nyx can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation heard amazing things about them and i am oily combination oily skin so i thought this would be really good um i know my friend who is also oily said that she saw a review on this and this is really good for oily people so 
I thought I'd try it. I got the shade Natural, which is natural, and I got a deeper shade too. This is True Beige. This is supposed to be 24 hour matte finish. I got True Beige, which is more of like a tan color. I thought I could probably mix them, or if I'm self tanned, I can use this as well. So, and these were 1050, I believe. 1025. NYX was having, they always have really good deals, but I can never find anything. It's like, so it was 30% off. Um, the foundation is usually $15, but I got it for $10.50. And I got two of those. And then my very last place that I'll be talking about is Mamie's. I picked up quite a bit of stuff. Lip liners. So I got, every year you guys know I get pick up a whole box of beauty blenders. These were $60 and there's six in there with, and then um, a solid brush cleanser. I picked up a dose of, I wish I had gotten more of these, um, but it's fine. I got their, what are these called? These are the Dose of Colors. Um, the color is Shall We Dance? And these are one of their, if I break it, I wanna cry. Oh, these are their Block Party sh eyeshadows. And I've been wanting to purchase them, like all of them, cause they're so gorgeous, but I kind of stopped myself. So this is the Block Party shadow in a Shall We Dance. Like it's so pretty. You know, you guys know I love my pinks. This is like a really, neutral shade they were actually i have the receipt this time this one was where is it okay so the block party shadows are usually 20 dollars, and they got them for 14 and this is usually 80 dollars, and it was 64 usually it's 60 so they did raise the prices this year but it's still a really good deal nonetheless and then i got a truffle liquid lipstick and this was $12.60 and they're usually $18. I gave the one that I had to my mom and truffle is just like a really pretty good nude color. Two of their gel liners. These are called Set the Tone Cream Matte Eye Colors. You can use them as gel liners or you can use them as shadow bases. I got Shady, which is a plain black. I'm in the market to find a new cream gel liner. I like using cream better than liquid. I feel like I have more control and it just works better for me, but I do have hooded lids and I do have really oily lids. So whenever I wear eyeliner, um, crumb gel liner, even if it's supposed to stay on all day because my lids are so oily and they're so hooded, they smear to the top and I don't like that. So I, that's why I don't wear eyeliner at all and I don't incorporate it into any of my tutorials because they just don't look the best on me. And whenever I open my eyes, you can't even see them. So I got this shady which is black i don't want to open it um but hoping that this won't smudge to my lid so let's see i love the dose of color stuff and i feel like anna who is the owner of dose of colors spends amazing spends a lot of time perfecting her products so the eyeliners were they're usually 19 dollars, and i got them for 13.30 and then I also got the color Weekender, which is kind of like a cool toned mauve pink. You guys know I love my pink tones and my mauve, so I decided to get a mauve color as well. I would have gotten all of them if I could, but I And I got, so because, so Dose of Colors, they didn't actually have their own booth. And usually every year I go, they have their own booth there and the line is really long. You can't really, you have to wait in line to swatch everything and it's just... A lot i wish that they were there though but they had a booth at namie's and you could just swatch everything and then pay which was a lot easier and less of a wait um i wish i had their brushes though because i really wanted to pick up more of their brushes but that's okay i got a bunch of lip liners and a bunch of eyeliners because she just launched them so i really wanted to see what they're about and you guys know i love dose of colors so i had to support Anna. but um a good amount of each i believe I believe i got some the lip liners i got two of each the lip liners were they were there so the lip liners range for 14 dollars, but they were 9.90 at imat so i got casual and i must say i really love the packaging of her lip liners like she just thinks of everything so these are her lip liners, they're a matte packaging and it literally looks like a lip liner or an eyeliner so you have to pull the top in it. This is a little cap so I hope I don't lose it. And this right here is casual which is a very mauve nude. And then, so like I said, I got um, two of the lip liners, two of each. I got Dime which is like a nude 
which is a very light nude lip liner, I have to say, is one of the lighter ones I got. It's just, it's just so beautiful, like so sleek. Her packaging is amazing. Another cool toned lip liner, this one right here is what I got. It kind of has a brown tint to it, so. Then I got two Nitty Gritties. It is more of a pinky lip liner. This one right here is Nitty Gritty, which is like, yeah, pinky brown. I'm so excited to film tutorials now. And then I got two Undressed. Love her Undressed lip gloss, I believe it is. So I wanted to see how good this lip liner is and how good it compares. I don't have it with me right now, but this is a light brown lip liner, which looks very similar to her lip gloss. And then lastly, I got three of her eyeliners and these were, her eyeliners range for $15 and they were for on sale for $10.50. I got Teddy, which is like a light pink, pinky brown. And her um, eyeliners are shiny. They're the same thing as the lip liners, but they're just shiny. I'm sure you can also use the eyeliners as lip liners as well, just use as your own risk. But this one right here is Teddy, which is a really pretty color. I thought I'd get it because I wear a lot of pinks anyways, um, and I need a good eyeliner. I don't really have many good like plumish berry eyeliners, so thought that'd be nice. Then I got this color called Loyal, which is a deep brown, very deep, 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 almost like it can come off black kind of brown. Cloud Wine, which is a wine, a berry wine color. This reminds me of one of the uh, Marc Jacob highliners um, in this color, but that one's kind of expensive. So this is really, right here, really gorgeous wine color. I thought I nicked it. I was going to be so upset. Like, nicked the whole tip off. So, that is actually everything I purchased at iMats this year. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And click the bell button so you're notified the next time I upload. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one.